You're watching the O2 Arsenal Vodcast. Lasana Diara has thanked Bolton after their win over Manchester United left Arsenal three points clear at the top of the Premier League. It's a good result, but <laughs> thank you, Bolton. But we don't need to, we don't need to look after Man United defeat or win. But we have to stay concentrated on our football and um, because if you think about uh, Man United, we have to win before, like today. We win and after we saw Manchester lose, it's good for us. Manuel Almunia has warned that Champions League opponent Sevilla will be desperate for revenge tonight after losing 3-0 at Emirates Stadium in September. Uh, Sevilla is a good team anyway and even more in, with, uh, in his, uh, his pitch. And uh, the atmosphere is terrible and I think Tuesday is going to be an uh, amazing atmosphere because I think they, they, they want to have a revenge because uh, uh, we, won, we won them 3-0 uh, and, and they, are, uh, they are very furious I think at the moment and they, they're going to get, uh, they, they're going to try to beat us for the, for the same uh, number of goals. <laughs> Three Houses Arsenal was charity of the season, so between now and next summer a number of events will take place to raise the charity's profile and of course much needed funds. The mission statement of Tree House is very clear, using education to improve the lives of children with autism and transform the lives of their parents too. We're here at Muswell Hill in North London for an art activity afternoon and it's rather a star-studded event. There's two Arsenal players, Cesc Fabregas and William Gallas, plus two famous Arsenal fans the author Nick Hornby and the comedian Matt Lucas. Hornby of course is one of the founders of Treehouse. We caught up with him first. Nick, just tell us how Treehouse got started. Well, there was a, a small group of parents in North London, um, five groups of parents who were not satisfied with what was on offer for their kids um, in terms of the education, or all autistic kids. So we decided to try and set up our own school and um, that was ten years ago. We started off um, in a library, in fact, in Swiss Cottage, um, and it's sort of grown and grown and grown and become more and more influential since then. And we're here today at uh, Marsboy Hill, there's, there's a big centre being built just around the corner. Yeah, well, it's, it's right, right here, yeah, I and mean, we own this land, and uh, the, the, these buildings here are, are temporary buildings, but the permanent building is, is, is being built as we speak. Three Houses Arsenal's charity this season, of course, for this campaign. How big an opportunity is that? Well, I mean, it's massive for the school. I mean, you, you see today when when Cesc Fabregas and William Gallus visit somewhere, people tend to follow and take lots of photos and the Treehouse logos everywhere. And the club's been incredibly supportive of the charity. So, I suppose for you it's the perfect marriage. You love Arsenal when you've got Treehouse as well. Of well, it's it's weird. It's two sides of my life, which I didn't really think or could see how they could combine and collide. And, and this season, it really is combining. Matt, there's a lot of paint around today. Hello. Hello, Matt. At what, at what point did you realise the suit wasn't the right thing to wear? Today? Well, it, I sort of got... I think I've got away with the suit, but, um, uh, yeah, we, we've been putting our bare feet into uh, paint um, to, so they can sell the prints to raise some money, I think, and, of course, my feet are worth considerably more than Mr Fabregas and Mr Gallus. Um, I've had my feet insured for... Thirty pounds. Thank you. And you were showing some very silky touches there in the kickabout. Yeah, I put them to shame. Uh, yeah, I'm a natural. Thank you. Ah, so possibly uh, thinking about bringing you in. Mm, I don't know. I've got. It depends. I've got a lot on. Do you know what I mean? I might. I might not. Now, what's your involvement with Treehouse? Well, I mean, I've I've been invited here today um, just to kind of learn about uh, the school. So this has been my introduction to it, really. But uh, it seems a, a very interesting place and uh, there seems a lot of love and care here for people who need it. And uh, there seems to be a bit of a new uh, approach to teaching children with autism. I think there's a bit more uh, acceptance um, of 
Uh, well, look, let me give you an example. You know, if they're in the middle of a lesson and a child needs to go outside or needs to go into a, a quiet room, it's fine. It's not something that is, uh, the, oh, it's a deviation, but we'll sort of begrudgingly allow it. It's embraced, you know. Each child is seen as an individual here, and um, uh, it's a really, really impressive place to come. And having Treehouse attached to Arsenal as a charity this season, that's going to push it even further for you? Yeah, um, I know that they're trying to raise £11.5 million, and... They're, they've raised a lot of that, they're three million pounds off their target. Um, and obviously uh, any profile that uh, can be given to the place with its, through its relationship with the club is obviously going to be helpful. William, you've been here at Treehouse today, what do you think? I think it's very good. It's very good to be here, you know, to, to, to see what, what happened here, you know, because I think a lot of people or a lot of players you know, doesn't know uh, uh, they have uh, some kids who are autistic and uh, a lot of people don't know what is the autist and uh, it's very good to be here as well, you know, to try to help them. As Arsenal captain, you have a role on the pitch. This is your role off the pitch, isn't it? Yeah, it's my, my job, you know, to... To, to be here, uh, me or uh, uh, some players, you know, and uh, we have to understand the players, it's not the people who play football, you know, it's the people who, who think about their life and I think that is very important.